lab junctions microprocessor flame photometer this is complete unit unit 1 is main unit microprocessor flame photometer and unit 2 is the compressor first of all you have to connect these air pipe to unit 1 and air pipe to unit 2 and uh, completely tie this this is the drain pipe this goes to drain now first of all main thing is how to lit the flame of flame photometer first of all you have switch on the main unit now you have switch on the compressor sometimes compressor switch on takes time to 5 to 10 minutes due to power supply in some areas power supply is not achieved 220 where is a 210 or 200 now first of all how to lit the flame of flame photometer first of all you this is the gas regulator first of all you minimize that in this way you have to minimize that this is the minimize minimize mark this is maximum mark you have to minimize that now this is the alarm indication of gas if, it's, if gas is not present it indicates B if you have take the advantage of this to switch on this alarm ok now switch on the gas now you slightly move one rotation only and press the manual ignition in the back side of the unit Now, flame has to lit. In this way, flame lets. Now, how to make a perfect loop? You come. You minimize the gas regulator slowly and see the flame in this flame view you can see that sometimes gas goes away you adjust the compressor unit to 0.4 to 0.6 in between that 0.4 to 0.6 in between that. Now we have to adjust the flame for the unit 1 flame photometer. Slowly you minimize the gas regulator. In this view, you, you take the view in from that. You see, oh, oh, again it passes away. You see the bottom cons you have to see these are two cons on the burner if you see from the top you see five five cons in the top of the burner in this way you slowly adjust the flame
like this now you see this some blurring you some fine you see two cones are viewing you see two cones and one is big cone when small cones you see the sharper big cone automatically sharper in this way you set the flame this is the final set now you give the distilled water to this and again the ch again you check you again uh, put out the capillary again check the flame again you put in this this is the final flame of flame photometer in this way you can set the flame of flame photometer this is the main thing of flame photometer flame setting now how could we analyze the analyze and can you calibrate the flame photometer you go on in this one is analysis second is setup third is calibrate four is miscellaneous setting yeah in the four miscellaneous setting one is clock set third is printer second is set flame you check this in this distilled water some sodium is present see this if you are millivolts or stable your flame is okay if your millivolts are stable your flame is okay if you have some problems put the chimney on that some also now you say that these millivolts are stable not fluctuating so much this is the effect of chimney now you again goes to main menu in this you goes to setup two in this there are 10 setups i am setting one zero three modes are there general serum urine serum and urine are for pathology lab general generally for ppm water testing you enter that dilution factor i takes one unit in ppm you goes to proceed if you select uh, you can select sodium or uh, potassium calcium for, for lithium barium in a single aspiration i am setting only sodium only if you can set up sodium and potassium then continuously results of sodium and potassium are showing on the display but i select only sodium if i press one click goes you see this check and proceed the it takes only five standards if you have the choice you give sodium 1 or 2 i am giving it to 2 sodium 2 and uh, first of all first i put this 100 enter uh, now second is for i setting 40 40 and again enter uh, it 
says all setup and its data will be overwritten if i press yes if i press escape then data will remain previous but i have to change that i press yes set up data for file number 0 saved now it says you go for calibrate now go for calibrate three key it automatically uh, takes zero aspirate blank solution this is the blank solution i have to aspirate it needs 100 ppm sodium standard solution then take a tissue paper and some refresh the capillary and give us to 100 ppm then you see is flame lets high dark gas center again he wants blank solution no this is the blank give it 5 to 10 seconds for blank dissolved water solution and press enter now he wants 40 ppm standard this is 40 give it to 5 to 10 seconds and press enter now again it needs black solution you give it to the black solution press enter calibration done now you go for analysis number 1 key setup is already zero enter again enter these are the reading saved in the memory batch number wise sample number enter aspirate blank already there is a blank solution in aspirate now he wants sample solution This is my sample solution sodium 40 ppm
this is the final result 38.8 ppm for 40 ppm solution unit have accuracy of plus minus 2 percent it means 39 ppm of this 40 ppm solution same procedure you have to follow for potassium, calcium, lithium and barium standard solutions. Wherever be you can calibrate all these 5 filters standard solutions. This is the final. Now if this setup is ready, if you have switch off the gas cylinder supply suppose you have to switch off the gas cylinder supply you can see the flame I have switch off the gas cylinder supply flame goes out now again switch on the gas cylinder supply and press the manual ignition for that automatically same flame can set up no need to again set up the flame again and again if you don't disturb the gas regulator of unit 1 and air regulator of compressor unit 2. Now this, this is the final demonstration of microprocessor flame photometer. Okay sir, thanks.